drunk? Cut lighten up. It's a party, remember? Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Uh, Herman, call me crazy. I don't think you're in shape to speak tonight. I'm fine. I know what I'm doing. The movie star. <laughs> we are here tonight to acknowledge Paul Bracken's 20 years of service with Waterton Publishing. Yeah! <laughs> But before we do that, I am reminded of the time when I was 11 years old and I built my first treehouse. It's my story. Let's not panic. All we need is a cough and cuppy. <laughs> we, we still have plenty of material left. Don't forget the Gandhi-Madonna joke. So Gandhi says to Madonna... <laughs> okay, forget the Gandhi-Madonna joke. As long as we stretch out Bracken's first day at work story, we're still okay. Okay. That was Mr. Bracken's first day at work. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And now, Herman Brooks. Yeah. Uh, wait, that, that's you. Jay, when did you get here? <laughs> oh, God, I gotta pee like a racehorse. <laughs> hey, hey, Socrates. Come on, you're on. Well, not everything is under control. Well, here we are. Nice party. Nice tie. <laughs> nice party, nice tie. Oh, my God, he's out. Somebody better start talking fast. I'll do it. I can do it, right? Boy, is it hot in here. <laughs> I'd like to start off with a little icebreaker. Anyone got any ice? <laughs> you really stink, you know that? There, I'll take over, I know what to do. You wanna hear a great joke? There's this guy who meets this lady farmer with really big... Oh my God! <laughs> I'm hot. So he says, that was terrific. Does your sister have a chicken? <laughs> Uh, don't you get it? He slept with the wrong chicken. Step aside, bozo. Now let's talk about something that's not so entertaining. Paul Bracken. <laughs> this man can tell you the rectal temperature of a sloth. And you know why? It's because he's been stuck in that room looking up facts for ungrateful slobs whose only thanks after 20 years is a crummy p I love this man. This man is like a father to me. Sure, he calls people names behind their back, like Mr. Crawford, who he really can't stand. And, and yes, he's gruff, impatient, and a real pain in the ass. Quite a tribute. And yes, he has bad breath. Well, if you spoke to him tonight, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I see by your faces that this is touching you. And I'm glad. You see, I only have sensitive, kind things to say. And that's because all my stuff was stolen by Hetty. <laughs> she was very funny. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, okay, Hermo, I think you said enough there, pal. Jay, it's about time you showed up. <laughs> and one more thing, Louise. You are not a cog. You may be meaningless, but you're not a cog. <laughs> well, thank you all, and good night. But I leave you with this. Why did they take so many changes of clothes for a three-hour Tour. Three hours. Tour. Okay, thank you. Come on, Hermo.